So the pumpkin arts did very well, but it's time for the go. Ready to throw the pumpkins on the arch. Did really well. This is all going on the compost then. We've still got a pumpkin. Still got a pumpkin or two in December. So this is my five bed pallet bin and the front didn't have a front so this is an old shed roof that got blown over in the recent gales so I've recycled it and using it for the front of my compost bins so I'm just going to add the old pumpkin vines to the compost bin and that's another job well and truly done Nice bit of brown for the compost bin. So this was the pumpkin cage I used and it's two garden arches and I connected them with some canes and some zip ties and we made our arch. So what can we grow in the arch next year? So that's all the polytunnel cleared and let me know in the comments what should we do with this arch for next year? Shall we do pumpkins again on the arch or shall we do runner beans or even you suggest what do you think to grow 
on this garden arch. That'd be wonderful. So the grape is losing all his leaves now. But it's gone really well. And we did get quite a few grapes off of it in the end. And we've even got some grapes still right by the front door there. <coughs> and in fact, we've still got a small bunch of grapes on the vine. So, very rude not to. Bit on the sour side now. Well worth it. So I So one thing to take into consideration when you have grapes in the polytunnel is how much leaves they drop. Got to get the broom out. So during the growing season I grow my seeds in the polytunnel. And I make some shelves in the polytunnel. So this frame is just slightly in the way. So I'm just gonna dismantle it. We can rebuild it when we decide on what we're gonna grow. And I'm gonna put up my shelves. And these are just shelves that are hanging from the polytunnel wells. So that's our page dismantled. Just moving the frame slightly out of the way. So we have some strings that attach to the top of the frame and on the side. We've got one here and we've got another one here. And to make a bit of extra space in the poly tunnel, I have this heavy piece of plywood and this piece of plywood put on the string and on that piece of string and then we have a shell then we can put our watering trays onto the shelf and we've got a nice base to start our seeds in. And all our pots. Job done. So it's looking a bit tidier, more work to do, but we've had a good start and we've got quite a bit done today. Some more leaves 
put the compost bin, nice bit of brown matter, all done. Cheers!